I'm gonna be talking about Elie Wiesel. Um, Elie Wiesel was born in Sighet, Romania in 1928. He studied religion in his early years and he was heavily influenced by his father and his grandfather's belief in Judaism. In 1944, he and his family were sent to Auschwitz due to the annexation of Sighet by Hungary. And like many others in the Holocaust, Wiesel was forced to work in labor camps under extremely harsh conditions. Several of his family members did not make it out of the Holocaust alive, including his mother, his father, and his younger sister. He and his two older sisters survived and were released from the camp in 1945. After being freed from the concentration camp, uh, Wiesel studied journalism and he picked up where he had left off on his religious studies. He wrote many books about peace, how to deal with suffering, and speaking out against injustice and oppression. He was a professor of humanities at Boston University in the 1970s, and he received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1986. Some of Weissel's main teachings have been discussed all over the place, but the most important lesson that can be taken away from the life of Elie Wiesel is how to face moments of despair without feeling sorrow. He stressed that the import he stressed the importance of education being the key to personal growth, and he stated that education was a shield and patience was the ultimate virtue. In other words, constantly learning and growing is the key to survival. Through the expansion of our knowledge, we can increase our spirit and create our own hope. He also stated, learning saved me and learning can save us. An example for him living what he teaches, he survived the Holocaust and despite the fact that he lost so much, he continued to pursue an education and learn. He believed that hope was a moral choice and when there was no hope anywhere, we must create it. He then went on to teach at Boston University and City College in New York. He encouraged students to learn and he never grew tired of answering questions that students had to ask because he firmly believed that education was the key to creating a better, more humane future. Some of the significant um, aspects of Wiesel's teachings include how he went through one of the most traumatic experiences anyone could possibly go through. He had his whole life ripped away from him. He was thrown into a concentration camp and then to an orphanage and then he was later released. And understandably, anyone could have given up hope in that situation. However, he created his own hope. He studied the Talmud and journalism. He stressed the importance of making change happen for ourselves. And he emphasized that in order to look to the future, we have to look at the past without despair. This shows that humans are capable of processing anything, regardless of what their experiences may be. And even though it may be difficult, hope can be created through patience and through education. Wiesel inspires me to continue pursuing my education. He, can, he inspires me to continue to spread kindness and to stand up to modern day oppressors. His actions and how he treated others truly reflects on how an individual can rise from suffering to create a life that they love and a life that supports other people. He was an advocate for standing up for those who are oppressed. He spoke at many different places about how we owe it to those who lost their lives in the Holocaust to make the world a better place to live in. Um, his teachings relate to a lot of the subjects that we've covered in class, and I believe that many of his teachings relate to Judaism. I especially think that his teachings relate to Viktor Frankl's teachings about how our choices affect our lives and our suffering. Both individuals emphasize the importance of actively pursuing things that keep us moving forward in order to end our suffering. Both Frankel and Wiesel discuss anti-Semitism in their teachings and how it isolated the Jewish population from the rest of the world. Wiesel also stressed the importance of bettering ourselves for the sake of our morality, which is heavily covered in Judaism. Those who practice Judaism have a belief in continuous and progressive revelation, meaning that as long as we are all alive, we are always learning and becoming better despite our setbacks. 
I think that this was Wiesel's overall objective. He wanted to encourage people to open their minds, to create their own hope, and to stay true to themselves when times get difficult. Thank you.